But we're going to move on now from Mark Perry and we're going to go and we're going to go deep down and dirty with the Club Vass crew. Now, anyone who doesn't know what Club Vass is, basically Vass is uh, short for Vasiliki. Vasiliki is an island over in Greece. Uh, there's a couple of centers there. One of them is called Club Vass. Now, this is notorious. Um, well, basically, a lot of the English pros, especially freestylers, are coming out from Club Vass. It's a good party scene over there. They get consistent wins. Uh, they're all sort of egging each other on. Uh, they learn the moves. They learn how to drink, let's say. I'm sure they do. Uh, there's a few drinking games going down. I think they brought a few of them to uh, one of the guys' birthdays the other day, which was, was quite entertaining. Uh, but the Club Vass crew are a good crew. Uh, Andy Bubble Chambers, let's say, you know, Max Rowe, these guys have come through that i think max is still there colin whippy dicks and there's just so many gem hall i think back in the day there's a there's quite a lot too many to mention but like i say a lot of the british guys have come out of that club vast crew and we're going to concentrate on those because there's a really nice nucleus of uh, those guys over here and there's a good crowd and they are pushing each other on full power uh we've got some good ones coming down uh who are we going to start off with well we're just talking about rockets i think we've got to go straight in with jamie howard because he is i think the new rocket man or he is the rocket man of club vass that's for sure because he was sticking the, the big floaty old jumps out in big bay the other day Oh yeah, see what I mean? He's got he's got a good floaty jump style, and that's I think it's a good thing because it really helps you get your gauge. You really want to go high, and then you can turn that into back loops, forward loops. But you firstly need to go high. I don't think there's enough rockets going on out there, and that's exactly what he did. He's been working on his back loops uh, first. He's got I mean he's doing everything right because he's not over rotating them. He's got a lot of control. So when he crashes them, he's sort of under rotating, uh, and then by pretty much just halfway through the session, he started sticking quite a few. So that was good to see. Jamie Howard, obviously a superb freestyler, up and coming freestyler, just started on the PWA World Tour. And I think we'll be seeing quite a bit of him. He's got all the moves. Uh, just seen actually on Continent 7, him busting out like a perfect shifty off a wave. So, you know, he's got some skills and he's got all the sort of air scopery type stuff and all the your new school stuff as well um so that's going to be interesting he's been working on his wave moves like i'm saying backies uh i've seen him stick some nice push loops as well uh so uh, i think you've got to keep your eye out for jamie howard this year the one to watch uh cheeky catapult on the inside though come on we can't let him get away with it <laughs> uh moving on uh we've got who else have we got let's uh, mention ivan ivan he's south african i would love to do an impression of him right now but my impressions are rubbish uh but i got a classic south african <laughs> accent and he is actually obviously local to south africa he kind of met the boys you know, Bubble and these boys back in the day and he's kind of mixed in with all the Club Vass crew and he's actually now going over there in summer and working there. He works at, I think, Cape Doctor in town repairing boards and I think he's actually working, doing a bit of that over in Club Vass and obviously getting involved with all the social business. But Ivan's a good sailor. Uh, we watched him the other day nailing down some uh, some nice pushies, uh, even uh, throwing down this store forwards. I mean, so much so on that store forward, he decides to the next one with one foot. Exactly. And then the one-handed back loop, he's laying out the hands all over the place. Uh, so Ivan, it's good to see him pushing it, obviously. Uh, he, he's a good sailor. I've seen him uh, smash out some other moves, but I kind of missed them off the camera, so I apologise. But what I didn't miss uh, was him getting eaten by this wave. And I've got to put this in because this is kind of reminiscent of what happened to my foot. I just hit it more sideways on and the board kind of bent around on top of my foot. But that's kind of the angle I hit the wave at. OK, moving on down through the list, this next man. Um, well, apparently this guy is... Uh next in line for the throne of the club vast whole enterprise because he's the son of one of the owners of the main thing so uh sam green and he is crazy <laughs> if this guy gets in charge of club vast i don't know what's gonna happen but he is a top guy to watch he's one of those guys like a 
like a, let's say a lesser level of little Antoine or Ricardo because your eyes are drawn to him because he is a nutter, <laughs> absolute nutter. I mean, it's hard not to film him. So I kind of spent a bit of time uh, filming him. Uh, we're going to run through a few of the moves. Uh, first up, we've got the suicide absolute fast as you like forward on the inside, just full speed. <laughs> You know, that's super quick. Uh, he then did a one-handed forward, which was absolutely perfect. Totally missed it. I apologise for that. Um, and then the gold came out. He went for it again. And I was thinking, oh, I'm definitely going to get this one. So I see him take his hand off on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was the classic, the one-handed catapult. Oh, you got a laugh and you can see he's in the water and he's shaking his head and he's like, oh no, he knows everyone's watching. But that was a good one. That's a shame I missed the one-handed one -handed forward, but definitely got that catapult. Uh, we had the body drag on the inside with the claim. Yeah! <laughs> got to love that, haven't you? Got to love the claim. Uh, we had what, Crazy Pete on the outside. Yeah, I, I did, you know what I mean? Going for it. But actually, when you see that crazy peak like that, you do think there's a new move that could be invented off that. And it's like a crazy peak into air cabbie. Any freestyles out there think that's possible? Bowles, Muller, come on, let's see it. Uh, I think we probably would see it. I'm sure Bowles can do it. I think he kind of suggested this a few years back in Oz, but not sure it's been done yet. But in the comments below, come on if, you, if you've if you seen that move done. Uh, and then he had a, what, a totally crazy, out of control, pushy out the back. <laughs> and then for the PS de la resistance, or however you say it, he went for the old lazy Susan. Oh. oh! Yes, 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 you gotta love it. And you gotta listen to the beat boys in the background because it was like, literally, like there was a bit of a crowd forming on the beach because there was just so much action going down this day. Really fun sort of vibe on the beach. So you gotta give a big round of applause to those uh, guys stepping up. Uh, and then I hear this mutter that there's this guy and he's gonna go for a double. And I'm thinking, and it was howling. I'm not joking. It was absolutely howling. One well, double weather. But that's the word on the street is, uh, I think Jamie Howard had, had, had gone for one the other day. I think I've got the video right now. And it's not a bad effort, but it looked kind of nasty at the end. You're like, whoa. Oh, fuck. And this had got the boys fired up. So uh, a guy called Ollie Townsend was to step it up. And I kind of missed his first one. I missed a couple, actually. Uh, I just caught the end of it. And I was like, okay, he's serious. This ain't ain't messing around. So then I kind of focused the camera on him thinking, okay, this, this, I've got to get this next one. So I'm sort of focusing on him. He goes out. And I was like, oh, it's just a little jump. I was like, okay, I guess that's calm down. Okay, he's going to go for it. Put the camera back on him, flying out. Push loop. I was like, what's going on? But it was a nice push loop. Apparently, he learned that day. So then he bust out a couple of pushes. Like, okay, I'm like, I'll stay with this guy. See what else he's got. Um, and then this happened. Oh, God. Here he goes. Oh, God. Nice. Oh! Oh, my God. <laughs> that was a scorpion. Don't worry, he is still alive. I thought he might have snapped his back. Just check out. That is like some radical scorpion. We could name that move. That's like a yoga pose when you freeze frame that thing coming round. He could have... Uh, he said... Actually, I had a word with him after. He said, actually, I think it looked worse than it was and I'm like yeah well it's a good job it wasn't the opposite way around because if it had felt worse than it looked he literally would have been dead but that is a fair effort it wasn't bad till I think the, the second rotation went a bit end though and then feet came out the straps and oh man but 20 out of 10 for effort oh god nice oh <laughs> just absolute big balls of war there we go Yeah, Ollie Townsend, he's definitely got the biggest balls. No question about it. He could probably leap, bounce back up the beach on them things because that is just kind of suicide double in not ideal uh, conditions. Uh, but another person up for Big Balls Award. Now, I don't I've never had to do this yet, but can the girls get the Big Balls Award? 
I think they can. And I think we're going to have to give it to Claire. Now, Claire is another girl who works at Club Vass. Um, and she's been sailing. I heard this last night. Now, I'm slightly confused by this. Four years. Three, four years. Now, again, leave in the comments. But three to four years. Check this out. What? 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 Oh! That's close. Are you kidding me? Push loops after three or four years? Yes, and I am not joking. I did miss her best one. And then I filmed her after that and she got a couple where she water started away. But this was just in 20 minutes session. You know, you can see how happy she is. Just check the face, check the smile. Yes, that's a total giveaway. I don't even need to show you she did it because that was the smile after she did it. But so much. Balls. Big Balls Award 2 in one uh, session. But that is amazing. I actually also spoke to her as well. She did a Liz Frank learn. I think she was learning to forward in Darhab or something. And she actually done, you know, similar thing to me. Uh, so fair play in four years. She's done a Liz Frank. She's got back on the horse. She's doing forwards and she's landing, you know, at least water starting away for some push loops and landed one good one, which I missed. I was so gutted. Um, she's actually going out with Pip Pardo, who we've got to mention Pip because anyone who's into the British wind service scene, he kind of dropped off for a bit but he's back full power now and he's working over in club vast god i'm giving club vast but he should send me some beer money i hope uh i hope he's watching <laughs> uh but yeah and he's working over there and you could see when claire came in the big hugs are going all around really the back of pip's mind he's thinking maybe i should have to go and do a push loop now she's standing me up here yeah, exactly. Did he go out and do one? No, he did. He did a few forwards, though. A couple of wave rides. Pit bar, though. Good sailor. Good sailor. But he's going to have to step it up now because his girlfriend is really stepping it up. So that's definitely a name to watch. Um, uh, so from one girl to another, we've got to mention Ariane Alcus uh, because word in the street is she's smashing out some push loops. Uh, so that's pretty big news in the in the in the girls' fleet. Uh, I didn't get only on camera, but I did get quite a nice crash, and it wouldn't be the diaries if I didn't put it in. So sorry, Ariane. I know you'd be allowed some good ones, but we got to put this in, because that's, whoa, that's showing a bit of commitment right there. Uh, so there we go. That is pretty much it. Obviously, no footage from me because of this bloody big thing on my foot. Uh, big thanks, I've got to say, uh, to the sponsors of the diaries, West Coast Surf and Sports, uh, Waggy, um, he's been uh, looking after me. I'm in his house here. I've been sitting on this sofa for the last 10 days and the boys have been feeding me. You can see I'm getting a bit bigger. <laughs> So yeah, big thanks to those guys. If you do need any help uh, windsurfing wise when you come to Cape Town, check them out on Facebook. Just add them. I'll put the link below. Uh, but these boys can sort out anything. And they've also got, you know, Mitch doing the graphics and all that sort of stuff. So uh, absolute legends at West Coast Surf and Sport. And if you do want to chip in some beer money, I'll leave the link at the end. Uh, I'm not sure I need too much beer right now. I probably need some healthy fruit drinks or something to build back this foot. But we're going to be bringing you a lot more uh, action from here. And we are going to do the letters game, the skate. I spoke to the freestylers. They're here for another month. So uh, I'm definitely setting that up. I just haven't been... Much mo I haven't been really mobile at the moment, but now it's getting to the point where I'm going to be able to hop around. And Kennings Car Hire, I spoke to them. They're going to swap the truck for an automatic car, so I'm even going to be able to drive around. So it's all falling into place in Cape Town. I've got a fair bit of rehab coming on, but uh, I'm going to keep the videos coming. If you've got any suggestions of stuff you want me to do, like I say, Bob's Muller. Uh, Adam Sims, you know, Nick Hibditch, all these boys are still here. So uh, any ideas, just chuck them in the comments below and I'll do my best to try and do some sort of feature. But uh, it's going to be a lot more, well, it's going to be a lot easier when I'm more mobile. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, speak to you soon in the next episode of the Cape Town Training Diaries. Oh my God.